Hi, and welcome back to It Figures. Tonight I have a review of Ash vs. the Evil Dead. And we are reviewing Ash Williams' Hero. If you're an Evil Dead fan and you're not watching Ash vs. the Evil Dead, first of all, why? Because, yeah, that don't make any sense. It's one of the most fun and action-packed TV shows on right now, and it's completely blood-drenched. So the first wave of Ash vs. the Evil Dead figures comes with three different figures. You got the classic blue shirt figure, you have his employee red figure, which I think comes with a different head and different accessories, and you have the monster or demon that was in the first season. Alright, so let's get Ashley Williams out of the box. So here is Ash Williams from Ash vs. the Evil Dead. And right off, I can tell you that he has a lot of problems standing on his own. It took me about five minutes to actually get him to stand where he's not falling over. But now that I have him standing, he seems like he's somewhat balanced, but that could be an issue. First off, let's take a look at this amazing sculpt of Bruce Campbell. I mean, they really captured him 110%. That is Bruce Campbell. It's amazing sculpt. As for the rest of his body, it's okay. It's nothing that great though. Seems like the belt or the bands or whatever these are going around his chest are just there. They're not that well sculpted. I mean, they serve their purpose as to what they are, but it seems like they could have been done a little bit better. The chainsaw itself isn't bad. I mean, it's a chainsaw. It has some pretty decent detail in it. Pretty much where it attached to his stump doesn't seem like there's much there. It just seems like an odd way to attach it, but I don't know, maybe that's the way it is in the show. You notice the shirt is just blue and it has zero paint on it, like any fade or anything between the folds, and so is his pants. His pants are just a solid brown color with zero extra paint. And that goes for the back of him as well. He does have a nice holster here to put his shotgun in, and it's soft rubber, so that's really nice. As for articulation, this is where Ash really excels. He has some great articulation. He has a ball jointed head. His shoulders are not ball jointed, but they have some really nice range of movement. His elbow actually has two points of articulation. It bends and it turns. So that's really nice. Hand turns, chainsaw turns, and this arm also has the same three points of articulation. He has nice movements in his hips, his waist turns, knees, bend and rotate and and so does his feet bend and rotate so with all that great articulation you think he could stand up all right so time to look at the accessories he comes with of course his boomstick and just like his clothes there's no shading on any of this there's no extra paint or nothing to make it more realistic it's just a solid color and that's it but besides that i mean it's an okay sculpt it looks like a boomstick and he, he comes with an extra head. This one has a cut on the side of it. And it's more or less a frustrated or an angry head. I can't really tell what the expression is supposed to be. But just like the original head, it's an absolutely incredible sculpt. You can replace his chainsaw hand with this hand, which is his mechanical hand that he has in the show. And the sculpting of this is actually really good. It's probably one of the best parts of the whole figure which it seems odd that they put all their time and effort into this mechanical hand. But yeah, it looks really great. However, I still miss the gauntlet hand from Army of Darkness. I really wish they would bring that back. And then we have this here. I was trying to figure out what this is. I thought it was a maybe extension for the chainsaw, but when you put it on there, it don't look like it belongs on there. So it's like a very weird so this is what it looks like for the extension on the chainsaw. And like I said, it's just weird. I don't really know what that extension is for. I guess it's possible that it could just sit on there with no other accessories, but even that just seems weird. So here is where you pop his arm off, and then you replace that with the mechanical hand, but it doesn't really seem like it stays on there very well. I mean, as soon as you turn it, it just wants to pop right back off. Okay, and this is a problem as well. I can't even figure out how to get the sawed off shotgun into his hand because there's no way of him properly holding it as you can see if you wanted to get his finger where the trigger was then this part of the shotgun is hitting his wrist and it doesn't even fit into his 
hand, but at least it does fit into the holster on his back. All right, so let's pull up the old figo meter and see how Ash stacks up. As soon as I've seen this on the shelf, I instantly snatch it up just because of the big Evil Dead fan that I am. But now that I've actually got to take a look at it, I gotta say I'm kinda disappointed with this figure. NECA usually does a fantastic job with her stuff, but being that Ash really is hard to stand on his own, has absolutely no fading at all in his clothes, the chainsaw, the gun, any of it, has this weird hand that won't even hold the shotgun, has a fantastic face sculpt though, and some really good articulation, with some just strange accessories that I can't even figure out. I mean, because of this great head sculpt, I'm not going to knock it down too much. Still, for me anyway, it's a pretty disappointing figure. So in all, Ash gets a 3 out of 5. I really don't know if I'll be picking up any more figures in this line because of the big disappointment from this one. For the price point of over $20 that I paid for this figure, I think it could have been done a whole lot better. So if you like tonight's figures, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can see you next time.